Back with us again today is Lisa Fletcher. She is a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Tommy Reigns in East Lansing, GreaterLansingHomes.com. You can find her there. Lisa, now let's talk about lake season. So lake season's upon us. Restrictions are lifted from COVID. School is out. People are going to be start to sort of think about maybe they want to, to find a place up north to live or buy lakes, some lakefront property. What are tips to get started on that path right now? Well, good morning, and thank you for having me. Um, you know, everyone is always intrigued about living on the lake. And, you know, first you have to ask yourself, is this going to be a, my primary home or is it going to be a vacation or secondary home? So you have to do your due diligence and you have to start your research and be an informed buyer about this process. You want to partner with an expert, um, a realtor who specializes in waterfront properties. You want to get connected to a lender, inspector, insurance agent, uh, maybe even property management person. These are all skilled individuals who know these kind of specialized properties and what's required. If I'm considering investing in some lakefront property, what are some things that I need to do in considering financing and insurance? Insurance can be a little trickier with lakefront from my understanding. You're absolutely right. So lakefront properties, especially maybe even Lake Michigan, they're, they have greater exposure to sun, wind, storms, that kind of damage. Um, so you'll need extra insurance for that. Also, if it's a secondary property and you're going to use like a property management for VBRO, you're going to need extra liability insurance, especially if you're not going to be there at certain times or if you're going to have renters there or people are going to be on the watercraft. So you have additional risk there for extra insurance costs. Uh, regarding financing, um, especially if it's a secondary home, you're probably going to be surprised that they're going to ask you for 20 to 30 percent down. You know, so you'll have to do your research there and be partnered with the right individuals. What are some do's and don'ts if I'm considering investing in that lakefront property? Well, uh, first you need to understand the type of body of water. What are the uh, restrictions for watercraft? Um, Speedboats, sailboats, you know, is it low wake, uh, all sports, whatever. Hmm. Um, you have to understand are there community lake rules? Um, what is your ingress rights? What is the seawall uh, stability? The, the docking, um, you know, what are you, what's your exposure for those kind of things? Um, lots to consider. Mun municipality rules, um, you know, if you have to rebuild a seawall, how much is that going to cost? So there's, there's just so many little things that go into it that people just not sure what questions to ask. Contact Lisa Fletcher for more information. If you're thinking about investing in lakefront property, she'll give you all the ins and outs before you get it rolling. Thanks, Lisa.